Are you trying to figure out what to do with your career and you're a bit stuck? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I figured out what to do with my career and share some things that I hope will make it easier for you to figure things out for yourself. If you wanna get the most value out of this video, watch it to the end because I'm gonna share with you some things that I haven't really talked about on this channel before. Hi, welcome to this channel. My name is Jo Randolph. On this channel, I help women get their dream job and create a career that supports the life they want. If you wanna watch videos like this, come and join us and subscribe. I post new videos every single week. The big question that I really wanna answer today is how can you figure out your career when you're feeling stuck? When you're in that state, it can make it really challenging because you maybe start to lose confidence because you're seeing other people who seem to be going for what they want and here you are and you're staying stuck and you haven't been able to move forward and i want you to know that i've actually been in a similar situation before i haven't always had my career figured out and i'm going to share with you the mistakes i made that stopped me from figuring this out and also exactly what i did to get clear on exactly what i wanted to do in my career for a bit of context in total in terms of a job that i loved and how long i've been in business i've loved my job for the last for years and by love my job I mean I've loved my job every single day and every single time I'm working and there is nothing else that I'd rather be doing and this was when I was both employed by a company and this was also when I started my business. Let's start with the mistakes I made that slowed me down or stopped me from getting into this position. The first thing was I was afraid of making a decision and following my dreams of what I actually really wanted to do. When I was younger I created this online blog and it was a lifestyle blog because I was really into health and fitness and entertainment and lifestyle and I created this blog and this blog generated over a million views a month at the time there was no such thing as influencers and even though I would work with big brands they didn't pay you the way that companies pay you now and I remember just thinking that this isn't a long-term solution it was a hobby as i was in my final university when i graduated i quickly realized that i needed to get a proper job and working as a blogger in my mind was not a proper job because at the time it wasn't so i gave up this blog and I, to this day, I regret it. I totally regret that I did that. Obviously, it helped me work in branding and do business and do what I do now, but ultimately, I've ended up right back in what I love doing, which is creating content, sharing it. The topics may have changed, but the essence of what I'm doing is the same as what I knew I wanted to do when I was younger. Another example is many, many years ago, I used to play football. I used to play football for Chelsea, and I had this major dream of wanting to play for England and also wanting to get a scholarship. And I was playing at a, a good level. And, but one time I was, um, I was sexually assaulted. And I, it's something that I don't really talk about really with people. Um, and I'd say 99% of my friends probably don't even know. So it's a bit strange that I'm sharing this on YouTube, but I'm just gonna be honest about how I figured out what I wanna do. So I was sexually assaulted and I, I tried to press charges against this person. And unfortunately the police said there was insufficient evidence. And in the meantime, whilst the investigation was going, people, um, cause I was staying, it's not uni halls, but I was staying at a college for young people who were athletes and they kind of spray painted liar in my door and it was, I was threatened and I needed to leave and quit the team in order to be safe. And I felt such so much shame around it that I couldn't bring myself to try and play for another team because in football it's a small world, a lot of people know each other. Like. A lot of people know each other and I couldn't face the reality of explaining to a new coach or a new team or new players exactly why I left the team that I was just with. I just didn't want to talk about that. So I quit and I gave that up. And when I look back at my life, I think, man, did I really give up my dream just because I was raped? Like, really? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I did. Now, if I could tell my younger self, you know, you don't need to quit just because of what some guy did. I I wish I told I would have told my younger self that, but at the time I didn't I didn't know that. So I guess what I'm trying to say, you know, when I share both of these stories is that 
I have made mistakes with my career choices. And it's really helpful to acknowledge them and to acknowledge what career choices, what mistakes you've made whilst figuring out what you wanted to do. Did you do anything out of fear or did you make any of the wrong decisions in, in the past? And really get into the source of why you made those wrong decisions so you don't make similar mistakes in the future. For me, I learned that my mistake is I'm too afraid to go after my dreams. If something really bad happens, such as a sexual assault, or if I feel pressured to do the proper job, then I quit. And it's just not acceptable if you wanna do something that you love and something that makes you happy. So since that time over the last decade, I have figured out exactly what I want to do and I'm doing it. And I'm gonna share with you the key things that really help me get clear on what I wanna do. So the first thing is I got clear on what I know for sure. Oprah Winfrey has this amazing book called What I Know For Sure. And in this book, she shares with you the things that over time she's learned that she believes 100% for sure. And sometimes when you can't figure out what you want, you spend a lot of time thinking about what you don't know. I don't know what I wanna do. I don't know what I'm passionate about. I don't know if this is possible. You spend a lot of time in an I don't know state. And when you spend time in that, it makes it really difficult to get clear on what you want because everything is, is so blurry and not clear at all. But once you start getting clear on what you know for sure, you're actually helping yourself to pinpoint exactly what type of job, or what type of career you want. So for example, I knew that I wanted to get married. I mean, I was already in love with someone and I knew I wanted to marry him. I knew that I wanted to, us to have a family and I knew that I wanted to be a businesswoman as opposed to working working for a company so that I could spend as much time with my child and I could also help people in a meaningful way. So knowing that made it clear that, okay, why are you trying to look for another job? Why are you trying to explore this? And what I also knew for sure is that I loved health and wellness and I wanted to coach people. And that was the beginning of how I got to doing what I'm doing now. Now, one thing you'll notice is that I'm not necessarily exclusively helping people with their health and wellness. So how did I go from wanting to work in health and wellness to going to this? And this brings me on to the next point, which is that you need to test your ideas in order to see what sticks. I was listening to a podcast the other day where Bethany Frankel, any of you Housewives with New York lovers, you know who I'm talking about. And she was talking about how she spent many, many years, right up until her late 30s, making mistakes and having failures in her business and people have asked her how did you end up building such a successful empire and she is doing incredibly well for herself and the thing she said is well whatever idea I had I tested it and a lot of ideas failed but once I found an idea that stuck it really stuck and this is the same for your career you might not necessarily be in business but maybe there's an idea that you have for a job or a career or a hobby and you want to test it out as soon as possible possible. Do not wait for the perfect time. In fact, just, just, just try and see what's one way that you can test it out right now. And when I did that, for example, I realized that, oh, okay, I wanted to do health and wellness, but then I got a tumor. It's a separate story that I'll talk about another time. I got a tumor and I didn't have the confidence to help people with their health whilst I was trying to recover from a major surgery to remove multiple organs from having a tumor on my pancreas. And I woke up in ICU and I had two thoughts. The first thought was I said to my husband, I want a baby. And the second thought was I need to use the skills that I already have to make a meaningful difference in people's lives. And we're thinking everybody has a life purpose. I'm still awake because somehow I have a life purpose. What if I helped people with their life purpose? So that was just a thought. And I created a YouTube video, posted it. I created, I think, a few more YouTube videos, not many more, just post them on YouTube. And it blew my mind because I think it was like the seventh or eighth video and it ended up generating over a hundred thousand views. That's when I realized, oh, maybe the things that I'm doing can actually help people. And I had students coming up to me and they would take my advice and they would get their dream job. And that's when I realized, oh, maybe this is something that I can do, but I would have never figured out how to do like how to get to where I am. If I'd spent a lot of time in the planning phase, I only figured out that this is what I wanted to do after testing and trying out different things. And then last but not least, it's to persevere. It's really tempting to give up when things get tough. I know, it's just like, 
Can you be bothered? Can you be bothered with all this trouble? Can you be bothered with all this hassle? And sometimes you feel like you just can't. Sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it feels easier to just get up and go to work. But one thing I know for sure is that actually it's not easier to do something like getting up to go to a job because over time that weighs on you, that drains you, that takes the zest out of your life. However, if you persevere when the going gets tough, but you're still doing something that you're passionate about and you're still working towards a dream that's important to you, whether it's for yourself, for your family, or the impact you wanna make in the world, when you have that meaning, the challenges that you're having, they're just small stuff, hurdles to jump over. And once you persevere and you learn how to stick at it and just get through it, then you start to realize that, oh, I can do this. I can do this. I can achieve so much more than I thought was possible. So if you're applying for a job and you're trying to change careers and you get rejections, don't give up. If you are trying to start a business and you're making no sales in the first year of business, don't give up. Keep going and focus on learning whatever it is you need to learn in order to finally get the results you're looking for. The issue isn't whether it can happen. The issue is whether you are going to figure out a way to make it happen. So persevere, my darlings. Anyways, that's it from this week's video. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to know what's one thing that you've been thinking about doing. Maybe something you've been toying with in your mind and you're trying to figure that out. Leave a comment in the box below. I also have a career clarity course that I almost forgot to mention. And this career clarity course can help you get clear on exactly what you want to do next in your career. So if you want to figure out precisely what job you want to do and and you, or you maybe want to figure out whether you want to go into business, this course could really help you get clear on what you want as fast as possible. To do this course, simply click on the link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next week. All right, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for new videos and click the bell button in order to get notified whenever I post new videos. There are so many more videos you can watch right now. So click on the video on the left or the right or the left or the right. I can't wait to see you next week.